You hear me, Michael? Yes. Great. Sorry it took so okay. long to get together. All right. <laughs> I finally found a spot where I could communicate without too much uh, noise and distraction. I see. Well, that's nice. So where are you located? Um, right now I'm in Dallas. I'm headed to Houston today about 5 o'clock. Ah. Uh, and I'll be hanging down there for a month or two. Oh, cool. So what do you think? I'm not, you know, it sounds like you're doing fun stuff. What is it? Um, well, there's a variety of different projects that I'm working on. About uh, seven years ago, I heard this rumor that no matter how much money you make, you can't take it with you when you die. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I've decided instead of spending the rest of my life enriching myself, I thought I'd spend the rest of my life enriching the world. Cool. And so I'm, I'm an engineer by training. Uh huh. And what's at the core of what engineers do is problem solve. Mm -hmm. And I looked at one of the biggest problems that's out there, and I, lo and behold, it was student debt. You bet. So, uh, yeah, so what I did was I started a free online university using a system similar to Blackboard or Moodle. Mm -hmm. And then I brought in all the open courseware from MIT, Stanford, UC Berkeley, Yale, right. University of Houston, um, and uh, lectures, textbooks. So it's basically a university. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I, uh, of the 840 courses, 200 of them prepare students for credit by examination. Huh. The APs, the CLEPs, the IB, right. the SSTs. So there's several hundred of those courses. And uh, I provided the free, edu uh, basically the free education. And then they just go take a test uh -huh. um, from the college. Where they're all, pro they're all proctored exam. And, uh, so, you know, you show your ID and, you know, they... They say, you know, they verify that you're the test taker and uh, you sit for a test. And are these so only, hanky -hanky. do you have to be registered at the college or? or? Um, what they do is you can take tests and what the, uh, like for instance, the APs and the CLEPs, which are brothers to each other, they're both from the college board. Uh huh. The APs. Oh, the AP tests. Yes. Uh, okay. Know, yeah. The advanced placements. They're yeah. typically done as a, you know, like a sophomore, you take one, I one see. semester, and then junior, you can take two. So is you know, this a way, excuse me, Mike, is this a way to get, like if I, I w wanted to go to college, I could take a uh, train for taking AP exams, right, that will give me right. college uh -huh. credit for the college I go to, right? Mm -hmm. And the course, right. so you have so, courses... Yeah, so are, so your courses trained for like the AP exams, or what? Yes. Yes, I so, see. So uh, there's actually see. So which is cool is um, uh, so I started uh, like 2010, uh -huh. and then two years after I started, Coursera started. Right. And uh, you're, you're a big proponent of open uh, people's university, right? Yeah. No, I believe in all that stuff. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we started uh, about the same time period as he started. Uh huh. And his rely upon textbooks and some audio. Mine rely upon YouTube lectures, mm -hmm. text, audio, and you know, uh, a learning management system. Uh, a learning and, what uh, was it? a learning manual you said or something? management system oh I see okay so it's a university basically uh -huh. so you enter the module like for instance uh, we have an SAT uh, math prep e exam you enter the exam and the clock starts ticking down and you finish as many as you can finish or you run out of time and it immediately grades it and then I have the Khan Academy solving all the questions you just worked on ah huh, I see cool now, the, so the initial course, say if I want to get an AP in physics or something like that, an AP exam, do yeah. I do I take the right. course on your site then? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it okay. your is it your course or are you uh, funneling that in from another? Uh, yeah, I'm bringing it. Most likely, it's going to be the one from MIT. I Berkeley. see. So this is a course for physics or is it for AP physics to take the test? Uh, it's either or. I see. Ah, huh. We actually have, we actually see that. Now here's the thing is APs are usually done by that age group. Now CLEPs, right. which are the brothers to the APs, do the exact same test basically. I see, yeah. But without a high school teacher. 
and there's 33 of those. I see, huh? Right. And uh, there's no age requirement, so you could be in third grade and earn college credit. Ah, cool. No, all that sounds. So there's an 18. Yeah. Yes. So there's an 18 year old that teaches mathematics at the University of Louisiana, and she has her PhD. Wow. She's 18 years old. Hmm. And that's who taking credit by exam. Basically, there's four ways of getting a degree. I'll I'll re I'll reenumerate. Uh huh. The first way is brick and mortar and online, like uh, right. University of Arizona, uh, Phoenix Online. Right. Those are time consuming and expensive. Uh -huh. The second way is credit by examination, which are like the College Board's APs and CLEPs, and the federal government's DSSTs or Dantes, and the International Baccalaureate, and then the uh, TECEP and the ECC, and then the New York University has a language uh, test for, in 50 languages from oh. New York University. And then there's a whole bunch more. So um, the third way of uh, basically getting university credit to get a bachelor's or a master's is to challenge courses. It's like when you open mm. up your brochure or go online to choose your upcoming courses for your university, uh, you take um, macroeconomics, prerequisite microeconomics, or permission of instructor. You go to the instructor and say, I already know microeconomics. I see. This is the final. And if you pass it, uh, you get the units and you pay a small tuition. At UCLA, they charge you a third. Oh, I see. Huh. So you cool. save two thirds. Yeah. You save your huh. time and you save two thirds. Right. Now, the last way is by life and work experience. Uh huh. Okay. So, where somebody uh, signs off, you had, uh, you worked in a TV broadcasting stations, and so you, the uh, station manager would sign off that you do professional quality work so you don't have to do Studio One and Studio right, Two I see, as right. your core for communication. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's two state universities, one out of New Jersey called Thomas Edison, which would take all 120 units of credit by examination. Really? Uh, yes, I've and heard Charter of them. Oaks out of Connecticut. They're both state schools reaching accredited just like your alma mater and mine uh -huh. and then there's excelsior out of new york and you do not have to go to those campuses now you asked me the question about the test results mm -hmm. the college board would send the test results directly to the institution i see so, so there's no hanky panky right so i oh, in other words so like uh, Thomas Edison or, or, or I think I know physics. So to get college courses, do I just sign up for an AP physics exam? A CLEP. A CLEP? Most likely CLEP. Okay. Because yeah. I'm not in high school, is that right? Or what? Right. You could be in elementary school, you could be in middle school, you could be in high school, you could be in college. Okay. Uh, so I sign up for a CLEP. Now. Right. And then. Now, uh, if you go to my website, we're all mentioning that. Go ahead. Yeah. Now I sign up for the, uh, a CLEP test. I take the uh, CLEP test in physics, so I get was a passing grade. So then I, when I'm applying for a college, I'll show them that. Is that it? Uh, no. They, no. The, the, you say uh, Thomas Edison is, you decide to go to Thomas Edison or Charter Oaks or Excelsior. Right. They then will, um, uh, you know, ask the college board for your test results. Uh-huh. So there's, so you never have custody of the, so you, no hanky panky. Right, but I mean, as far as what I'm trying so, to think of is how do I get a degree? I mean, if I went to the University of Maryland, would it be the same thing, or just at Thomas Edison and Charter Oaks? Okay, yeah, there, you, uh, you could go. You can. Each university is slightly different. Uh -huh. Okay, so one you could do uh, the full degree. The second one you could do is uh, you could do a portion of part of, of your grade at UCLA or, you know, all the various different schools. Uh -huh. But can I do it remotely so, <laughs> by taking CLEPs? Yes. I see. Ah, yes. I and see. Now, also, so if you go to my website, on the left side, you'll see um, Get College Credit. Uh -huh. You click that, it'll take you to a page ex explaining everything, including a description of the test, uh -huh. And even what the test results, you know, people that have taken it before, what's the pass yeah. rate? 
Ha, huh, cool. I'm going to lose you in a few seconds, I think. Uh, All right. Uh, also, mm -hmm. uh, uh, edX, which is from Harvard and MIT, has right. AP classes. Oh, they have AP classes, huh? That you yes, could you could, you could take on? Harvard, Harvard yeah. and MIT. Yeah. Wow, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, if you'd like to take a look at my site a little bit more, yeah, and then come, we can set up another office time. Sounds good. No, thank you for doing this, Michael. Yeah, it sounds good. Let me get into it no more. No problem. Okay. Take care. Have fun in Houston. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, it's all right. Take it easy. Good I, talk to you. Let's save these people some money. You betcha. <laughs>